12 people have ever walked on the moon, and they all did it within just four years of each other. Then, for the last 50 years, no one has gone back. But that is about to change. Soon, astronauts will return to the moon to prepare for people to live there long term and to get us ready to send the first humans to another planet. But to do all of that, they need to be able to survive outside in space and work for hours in one of the most dangerous conditions a human being will ever face. The problem is, our spacesuits for the moon haven't been updated in decades. But now, to make this next chapter in space possible, spacesuits are getting a major upgrade. These new suits will give astronauts the superpower to do more for longer. And I am one of the first civilians to put one. Here's the plan. In 2026, four astronauts will leave Earth on one of the most powerful rockets ever made and take the several day journey to the moon. When they arrive, two of them will descend to the surface and spend six and a half days there, which is twice as long as anyone has ever spent on the moon, and the first time that humans will have been back since 1972. And they'll be the first humans to explore this region near the lunar south pole, where they hope to find resources like water and metals, which are crucial for living on the moon and getting to Mars. To do all of that, these astronauts need to be able to stay outside on the lunar surface longer than ever before. They need new kinds of protection against extreme heat and extreme cold. No one has ever spent so long in areas that never get any sunlight. They need more flexibility and even more range of motion to do their job. And they need suits that fit more kinds of people. For this big, ambitious mission and for the future of space travel, astronauts need the next generation of spacesuits.